Build with Roadshow, day 18. It's Thursday of week three on the road. We just drove yesterday from Eugene, where we saw some logging, to Boise, Idaho, where we are today, just outside of town. We're with Ralph Wadsworth. They're a contractor out of Utah, but they're up here in Idaho, moving a lot of dirt for what is a top secret project for a confidential company that is big on the internet. And when you're big on the internet, you have things you need to store. You have data coming off of the internet that you need to put somewhere. And that is what they're creating here, is some place to put all of that data. Now, before they can go build this building with all the fancy stuff inside of it, they have to prepare the site. It's a really unique site because it's a data operation. Data operations require a lot of power. They require a lot of utilities. They require a lot of cooling. So this entire site, the building pad, has been over excavated by about 10 feet. It's all been blasted. It's all solid rock. The Ralph Wadsworth crews have then hauled that material, blasted material, to the stockpile behind us. Now they're pulling off of that stockpile and all that material is going into this crushing spread to be turned into three inch minus, which is then being loaded into these rigid frame trucks, hauled back to the hole, placed back in that hole, all the way back up that 10 foot. That gives the utilities contractors, the footings contractors, soft material to dig through so that they can get those utilities and footings in exactly where they need to without worrying about running into any kind of rocks. They've completed a majority of the building excavation. They're now placing that material within that pad, but you can see there is a lot more material to crush, a lot more material. So we have a 395 and a D9 working off the top of the stockpile, 374 down at the bottom of the stockpile, loaders feeding this crushing spread, a D8 up on the pile, moving that material around for the sake of stockpiling, and then a big Komatsu loader loading out those rigid frames, hauling to the side. This is what they're crushing, the material. It's basalt, which is a form of lava rock. If you feel it, which you can't because you're watching this on the internet, but I can feel it, it's extremely rough. It feels like sandpaper. So as they're running through it nonstop with their buckets, they're going through teeth, they're going through new buckets, they're having to replace a lot of steel on their crushing spread. This is a pretty gnarly material to break up, but you just gotta work with whatever material you have on the site. I just wanna show how, how high up we are. It's like we're up on this hill, this little mountain. All of this is temporary. They've hauled all of this here. They've blasted all of this from that giant rectangle over there put it here, and now they're feeding all of this, eventually, over the next few months, into that little feeder, which then pounds it into that 3H minus and is hauled right back to that rectangle. So all of this is gonna go away within a matter of the next few months. This is entirely temporary.
We're now at the placement area. We saw the Komatsu loader loading the haul trucks over there. They've hauled all the way over here where they're dumping. This D8 is then spreading out the material. They're, they're filling uh, at one foot increments. So everything we're standing on was excavated 10 feet below where we're standing right now. And it's all been replaced with this material all the way back up. This entire building pad is about three and a half million square feet. This is a huge pad, giant three and a half million square foot rectangle, dug down, blasted, excavated all the rock 10 feet down, crushed all of that material into that three inch minus, placed, graded, compacted, back up to grade to build this enormous pad. We're now at the logistics area. We're just to the east of the building pad. And this is where all of the subcontractors are gonna be working out of, out of the next few years. Well, all the materials will be here, their equipment will be here, everything to support the construction of that facility, uh, I guess behind us, will be right here. To support all of that, you have to build up this big area. It has to be engineered as well, so it's stable and sturdy in all conditions and that's what these scrapers are doing here these scrapers are loading this material which is this crushed material engineered material from where it's been stockpiled over the past few months and using gps trimble shout out to trimble they are placing that material in lifts and bringing this up to the proposed grades so that once they're done this will be ready for all of the trades to move in and build those buildings